Welcome back to Sotoku Tech. I wanted to revisit the TTGO T-Watch 2020 example sketches. I wanted to see if I could get the right time zone set in the Simple Watch sketch. And I had a lot of comments on that. But I'm going to be honest with you, as I was stumbling through trying to get the correct time zone, trying different time servers, different time zone definitions in the program, you can see here in the video I use time.windows.com and set the time zone a variety of different ways. I still didn't quite get that. But what I wanted to show you is something I stumbled into while I was doing that. You go to the GitHub site for TTGO T-Watch, scroll to the bottom and there's some brand new stuff there and we're going to dive into that. Supposedly there's a brand new factory firmware installed and it looks like the watch should ship with all this functionality soon. So we go to that GitHub site and this says you need platform IO. <laughs> so, you know, we've already talked about the Arduino IDE for T-Watch 2020 and we've installed PictoBlocks and I made Blink run in PictoBlocks. And so now here's a whole new programming interface, this platform IO. So you need VS Code installed, so we're going to start with that. Yeah, Visual Studio Code. Let's go to download. Boom. Make it happen. I know you're on the edge of your seat watching me perform these tech stunts, right? Yeah, I've come to realize that this channel's kind of like video game playthroughs, except we're playing with tech and not video games. I'm just clicking through the defaults here. Appreciate everybody subscribing, liking, sharing, and watching and all that. And thanks for the comments. Okay, so we're going to launch Visual Studio Code. Go ahead and maximize it out. Now, the first thing you want to do is add the Platform I.O. extension. You can see there's a variety of different programming language extensions. We're going to hit Install. All right, so you see down here, you're going to see a variety of notifications go by. Yeah, there we go. It's just waiting for something to happen. This does take a little bit of time because in the background, it's doing a lot of downloading stuff in the background. The difficulty also is there's not like a progress indicator here. I don't know what it's talking about here. That's interesting. Well, let's see. Let's show issues. So this is my second installation. I wanted to see if I could make it more smooth than the first time, but it's reading some file that's on my OneDrive. I want to code to open external websites. I'm just gonna cancel. Okay, so we're just gonna wait it out here. I don't know what's gonna happen with all that <laughs> errors from the first installation. We'll have to see how this goes. Just wanted to try to get it done clean this time. Okay, so you can see here, it says it's done reload. So we're gonna reload the VS code here. This is the platform IO icon. It's the extension that's been added to our interface here. All sorts of information on how to use it. And of course, you know me, I'm not gonna read the instructions. I'm gonna go right back here Download Sharandax Update Firmware Binary. Download the zip. Okay. Let me just put it on my local temp folder here. Okay, so it's in D temp. Open. Yeah, Jeff's looking for the browse button, but you're just not going to see one here. Where's the browse? <laughs> Yeah, I would like to browse, please. Can I? I'd like to go to D. There we go. Just showing me a little different view than what I'm expecting to see. So that was the My TT Go Watch Master. And we're going to open this. For a platform I.O. project to function, it has to have this platform I.O. INI file in the root. Okay. 
So now we've opened it. I'm just going to click on Platform IO INI. And let's just perform a build here. This could take some time. I've only done this once before. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like I'm doing it for the first time again. So again, this terminal gives you feedback of what's happening. You can see here the various parameters. Framework is Arduino. Board is TTGO T-Watch. Platform is the ESP32. That's really all there is in this platform io.ini file. Okay, and you've got notifications down here. You also, you have errors and warnings that are visible on the problems tab here. You can see we don't have any as of yet. This build process downloads and installs everything that's necessary. I'm going to go ahead and pause while this runs and we'll be right back. Okay, so you can see here that it finished. There were five problems. I saw this the first time. It's upset about some white space issue. It points out some unused variables. Terminal says it's success. So we're going to go on to the next step here. So he said, clone this repository, open it in platform IO, build and upload. On a terminal in VS Code, you can do it with PIO run T upload. Let's see what happens. I think it's actually going to go through the build process again, but I just wanted to demonstrate as much as I can. <laughs> Whoops, wrong terminal. <laughs> okay. Output debug console. So I'm going to try a new terminal. New terminal. And see, it's, it's still... PowerShell is not going to recognize that. So I'm going to click on this here. Got to make sure my watch is plugged in. And we're going to send this now. So we saw the build button here. And then here's platform IO upload. Again, this could take some time. It almost looks like it rebuilds it. And we get more of these white space warnings. There's a warning that some variable was defined somewhere else. I'm going to go ahead and pause while this is going on. We'll be right back. Oh. Well, no need to pause. That was quick. So. Yeah, so as you can see, it's upside down again. Now, I can click on the weather icon, and I could theoretically configure the weather application with a specific URL, etc. Let's see, there's the exit button. And then I'm going to exit back out of that. I can swipe down and turn Wi-Fi on and Wi-Fi off. If I turn Wi-Fi on, there's no list of SSIDs to connect to, so I can't connect Wi-Fi. So, without being able to connect Wi-Fi, I don't know how I can use the weather app. And I don't see any other functionality. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the power indicator showing zero, and that's not the case. I'm going to say this particular download's not quite ready for your watch yet. So, anyway, what we've demonstrated is how to use Platform I.O. And I'm just letting you know there's some new watch program in the works if you get different result loading it i'd like to hear from you go ahead and leave a comment down below give this video a like click down below for the links in the description click up here to subscribe and click over here to check out the ttgo playlist thank you very much